Hello everyone and welcome to another Oracle Hospitality Symphony POS tutorial. Today we had a question from Dean and he asked us if we can program require condiments using a screen lookup. The way I traditionally program condiments is by using a pop-up and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to sign into my workstation here and begin a fast transaction. And for example, this five wing has a selection of sauce and you get this entire screen pop up that asks me what kind of wing sauce I like and I can select plain. Another way to program require condiments like this is to have a screen lookup here somewhere on the bottom of the screen or on the side of the screen or wherever you would like to place it. So let's jump to EMC and take a look how we would program it that way. So here we are in EMC and in order for us to program that, there's two ways to tell the system not to use a pop-up, depending on your particular situation. One way is by using the menu item classes. And if I open a menu item class here, this is my food menu item class. We have these two options called condiment order pop-up, condiment edit pop-up. And the option here are no pop-up, use RVC parameters or condiment screen or whichever condiment screen you might have programmed. Now, if you're trying to do this just for one of the menu items, then changing it here in menu item classes might be better, but you would have to change it for all of the classes. So because I'm going to switch my entire system to using that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it in revenue center parameters. So I'm clicking on my revenue center here, going to setup, opening up RVC parameters. And then here we have the two default condiment order pop-ups. So right now they're set to that screen. That little square that I showed you earlier is actually a piece of the screen that's programmed like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it to none. So now I won't have for this particular revenue center any condiment pop-up showing up. So you'll have to do that for both your revenue centers. So I'm gonna open my bar as well and then change this to none and none. So now there will be no more pop-up that appears on the screen. So next, we're gonna have to place an area on the screen where the condiments will appear. So my page design is programmed here at the enterprise level and I'm gonna open page design, open my transactions page, and also I'm gonna change this aspect ratio to 16 to nine, and this is my food area. So we'll take as an example, probably the appetizers area, that's where I had my wings. And then I'm going to make a little bit of space by just selecting the screen lookup and kind of squishing it up a little bit. Uh, you can change this if the buttons become too small. You can go to your layout and kind of change the number of rows and columns. And next, I'm going to go to the other tab. And from this drop down, I'm going to select condiment combo order. And this will give me a new screen lookup, which I'm going to drop here and extend it. And here you can have it for require condiments, allow condiments. You can also use it for combo meals and other things. So I'm gonna leave it the way it is. For the layout, it's a little bit dense. So I'll probably use it as uh, maybe three by five. So that would give me the buttons a little bit bigger. Uh, I do like the paging keys, which are these page up, page down, but then I want the home and in keys, which are the ones ones right next to it. So I'm gonna check that off. For my sort type, I'll choose alphanumeric. Uh, I will want to check on sort priority and the font size is a bit small. Maybe an 18 would look better so we can kind of read it and we can also change the color. So I can turn this one cyan and then for the navigation style, I can turn them. I know this didn't change, but once we get to the workstation, we'll actually see it in the correct color. And all we have to do now is save and let's go to the workstation and see how this looks. And here we are at the workstation. So as always, we're going to click a quick update and then go ahead and sign in and begin a fast transaction. And I'm going to order my five wings again. So as Dean requested, you can see the screen look up here at the bottom in the blue and steel, the two colors that I selected. And these first three are my require condiments for the wing sauce and everything else are all the allowed condiments for the food items. Now you can choose only to have required here, just uncheck the allowed box or the other way around. You can create two slew side by side, whichever you prefer. But if I click one of these, you're gonna see that all the other required kind of went away. And now all you have is the allowed ones. And that's pretty much everything I have for you today. Thank you very much for your question, Dean. I hope this helps you program your screen the way you wanted it. If you have a programming question or you would like a topic featured in a future video, please leave it in the comments below. 
If you would like to join our free Symphony Support Facebook group, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time.